Hello my dear community and hello my dear souls. This is the 31st of December 2022, literally the last day of the year and I am here with you to talk to you about how you can still make this past year 2022 a good year. No matter what has happened in your life, no matter what you have experienced or no matter in what state you are right now. Because we know our consciousness dictates our experience. So let's look at how you can still make the past year a good year and make this a good ending to your 2022. Let's end the year well. And it's up to us, it's our choice to end the year well. Now, looking back on your specific year, you've had your experiences, some of them were great, some of them were not so great, some of them were really painful, some of them were desperate, and we have had our global experiences worldwide. And a lot of them seem to have been very negative. And so it can seem almost a bit cynical to talk about a good year of 2022. But as you know, the view we have of reality or life is our view. It is always an individual perspective. So we can choose what perspective we have. And now let's end this year well by doing the following. You and I, let's remember who we are. And let's remember that it is us who can make this year end well. How do we do that? Look back at the year, like connect energetically with the year 2022 connect with your specific experiences connect with and it just it can be just the general energy of how you feel about the year generally you don't have to go through specific events now some of them may come up if they have been traumatic or if they've been painful difficult or specifically joyful so but just connect with the energy of your year and then connect with the collective energy of the past year and now what we do is we bless 2022 as it comes to a close. So whatever presented itself to us, whatever we experienced, whatever we had to go through, whatever the planet and humanity is going through, whatever is being created, either positively or negatively, we are going to bless it all and we're going to do this together now. Let's bless 2022 with everything that has been in it because it has been created already. There's no point resisting anything that has happened, anything that has occurred. We are blessing this year with all the love we have in our heart and by blessing it we invite the light to shine upon it we are not putting anything into darkness condemning it keeping it in the dark and actually putting more shadow on it by condemning it by cursing it by wishing it had not occurred but we're bringing the light our light of our essence of our divinity onto everything during the past year and we allow this light to transcend and transform everything into something greater and that way as well when we look at our individual path throughout the year let's bless every situation that has caused us hardship or pain or fear or struggle or loss or grief or anxiety 
Let's bless every situation because everything that happens is our teacher. Our life is our teacher. And in every moment that something especially difficult happens or challenging, it's presenting us with an opportunity to prove who we are, who we want to be, to give us a, an exper experiential or experimental opportunity to practice who we want to be, to practice how we want to respond to the challenge, to the pain, to the difficulty. And because these situations are our teachers and can actually, or are, not just can, but they are in their function themselves, this is how 3D works, the catalyst for growth, for development, for expansion. It's just up to us whether we use them as the catalyst for growth and expansion. But that's what they are, that's why they're there. So by blessing them, by seeing them for what they are, they were our life lessons throughout the year and our opportunity to become more of who we are, more of our soul essence, more of our unlimited beingness in maybe experiencing the limits, experiencing the enclosement of this 3D life, experiencing being repressed or our all the limitations that the 3D world has, experiencing them allows us to dig deeper and to find the, the expansion and the freedom that we truly are within. Only in the contrast to the limitations can we explore our true beingness and, and feel what it's like to actually feel unlimited in the midst of limitation. And this is transcendence. So let's bless the past year, no matter how it has been, with softness, gentleness, kindness, warmth, and wisdom. Bless it, everything. Release what has been there. Release what you have been holding on to as a grudge or as tightness, as anxiety as anger, release that. Because by doing that also, you're completing, we're completing this year in a good way. We're ending this year in a good way. You are the good part of the year by ending it in that way today. This is how this year ends well, no matter how it has been. And how this year can be a good year for all, because it's understood, because it's seen for what it is, life experience, and it's been blessed with our intention to bring it into the light and to lift it up. So you're also the blessing for this year, and you're the one who gets to create the good ending for the past year. And by doing that, we have no ties to this energy of this year and we can move forward into the next day tomorrow the first of the first 2023 with a new energy with a new openness not by saying thank god it's over the past year this has been horrible but by seeing all the blessings in it or by creating your own blessing and place upon place it upon the the experiences of the past year. And then the openness that develops energetically for the new year can bring more consciousness into your creation of every single day for the next year, the way you want it to be. And this will also then, um, let's say, help your soul energy to be more manifested within you and your path to become clearer to you. And tomorrow I'm going to release the video of 2023, January 2023, right? And the energetic video that I do for every month. And I'm also, now this is a little spoiler, I'm also going to 
give you a gift with this video, like a real gift um, with the video tomorrow. So look forward to that because we're actually going to start very strongly into 2023. And we're going to do this together tomorrow. So today, let's close off and finish this year well and positively by being positive, loving, wise and blessing this year. So the remaining hours of this day, focus on this and spend them in this type of consciousness, in this type of energy. And that way, the year will end well. I am going to bless you, love you and leave you for today. And we'll talk again tomorrow.